For more Devon sport, including exclusive interviews and video, go to the Radio X website or the free Radio X app. You're part of the side that won in 2017, obviously making history with the Chiefs. Um, as a player, just how does that feel to get your hands on such an iconic trophy? Uh, as a kind of collective, as a group, it was it was absolutely amazing because we had set that goal um, from kind of a midpoint of the season when we had a real real realisation that we weren't achieving anything. I think the, the big learn from going from our first year's final where we were almost ecstatic just to get to the final when we won in the semi-final against Wasps, the feeling we had then was was almost a jubilation just to get in there. Um, and the following season, we didn't start that season well at all. We kind of scraped a few wins, there was a few narrow losses in there and it was kind of, it was an everything will be okay kind of feeling. Um, and it wasn't until we had the, the home loss at Claremont, I think, on a Sunday here. And that was, that was kind of, we were quite far into the season at this point. But there's a few players, like I think Jeff Parling came and spoke to me and Steno, and we went into the coach's office and we were like, this isn't acceptable. And I think we had that kind of reset point where we addressed and wrapped up the end of last season and put it to bed. And I think from then on we went on like a... I don't know the winning streak was, 16 games? Yeah, we went, yeah, we went on a winning streak at the end of that season and obviously got the got the right result at Twickenham and, you know, for the for the club it was fantastic. It had been, kind of, I think, Tony Rowe's vision from when he had pushed for promotion. Um, for the fans, it was it was amazing, the atmosphere they set in that stadium and coming back to, to Sandy Park here, being absolutely rammed in the bar next door, um, you know, for the, for the players, it was obviously made our end season social absolutely brilliant. So <laughs> we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. I was going to say that as well because it's obviously underlines how well and how far the Chiefs have gone four finals in four years. It's quite an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, and it's been it's been brilliant to be part of, and I think it kind of shows the the growth that we've had in those those couple of years bef- before it from being a, a team that were in the Premiership and we were kind of lower down the table to we really had always had that goal of, of trying to chase that top four because from there anything can happen and, you know it's really pleasing for me to see that we've maintained those levels of hunger it's not just something that we're expecting to happen we're going out and making it happen in, in the levels of performance that we're having on the pitch um, and you know and it's not just a, a coaches driven thing it's very very internally driven from the players um, you know we're a competitive bunch um, and that's that's what brings the best out of each other in training as well but it also brings the best out of each other on the pitch and that's the most important thing come come the weekend that we're all, we're all prepping to get a result um, and that's that's shown throughout the season and obviously this year it's obviously the final ever wanted the European champions against the league leaders um, how much are you looking forward to it? Yes it's going to be a great day isn't it um, you know full credit to Saracens they, they've gone off and won the Champions Cup so it's going to be a real test for us, um, and in a way, it's, it's the team that we wanted to play. You want to, you want to be the best. You got to be the best. For more Devon sports, including exclusive interviews and video, go to the Radio X website or the free Radio X app.